pass and catch from Smith to Jones, a, a curl route, and Jones just outruns the uh, defenders on a 40-yard pass and catch with 8.28 left in the Rasmus, um third quarter. You know, that matches the Tiger. Well, that ups the Tiger scoring average uh, in the last three games. So, uh, you know, they it's 30 to 13 with 8.28 left. Here comes the kick. It's down. It's up. It's away, and it is good. So the Tigers trail 30 to 14 left, uh, down 16 with 8.28 left in the third quarter. That's a nice, uh, nice play call there. Um, I actually like, I actually like how that play developed. I mean, Jay Jones did a great job of um, not only uh, kind of creating space, but sometimes he caught the ball, the defenders kind of closed in on. But he did a great job of eluding the defenders and even delivering a little stiff arm to one of the defenders and, and the showing some good breakaway speed there. So great job by um, Jay Jones. So way to perform on um, his final game in the jungle. So, a pretty good uh, play there. Hopefully the Tigers can keep it up. You know, uh, seems like this one's been a long game. Uh, you know, and hopefully the Tigers can finish out the season strong. So, the Tigers get set to take a get away to Mendenhall. Garcia making sure both sides are set. And it's going to be a little a little pooch kick. The Tigers, Benja Hall Tiger tried to recover it, but he picked it up and dropped it, and it's like he's going to fall back on it and um, regain the possession. Kick recovered by Drummond. So the Benja Hall Tigers are going to start their first possession at about the 48-yard line in their own territory. Score update from up at Forest Hill. Late in the third quarter, Laurel 31, Forest Hill 0. So a few scores of interest, uh, in case you didn't hear it a minute ago. Uh, in, at the end of the third quarter, West Jones leads South Jones 35 to nothing. And in, in the third quarter, Laurel leads Forest Hill 31 to nothing. A lot of, lot, of, lot of shutouts going on tonight around the county. So... Now quarterback hands off to the running back, takes up the middle, picks up of about four yards on the carry. McLaurin on the carry. So uh, it's kind of funny you mentioned, John, the game has seemed kind of long, which it has, but, you know, it's been pretty much a, a ground game for the men in Hall Tigers. So it's like they're, you know, just continue to, uh, to run out the clock. But it's been much of kind of a balanced uh, ball game on the northeast side of the ball. The you know, quarterback hands off to the running back, takes it up the middle, pick up about four more yards. Yeah, the running back uh, gets slowed down in the backfield. Again, Flynn on, slows him down. Picks up a couple yards on the play. Uh, it's going to be third and four from the NEJ 46-yard line. So, so pretty much same formation by Mendenhall. What about takes snap, fakes the handoff. He's pressured by Cody Hyde. He throws the ball, finds the receiver. Looks like he's going to pick up the first down. He was feeling uh, pressure from Hyatt and threw it away quick. Um, and good enough for the first down all the way down to the 35-yard line of NEJ. 10-yard uh, pass on the play. So, you know, Bennett Hall's moving on. We're going to come out same formation. Quarterback to the snap, hands off to the run back up the middle. Running back is going to power his way for about five or six yards right up the gut. McLaurin on the carry, tackled by a whole host of Tigers. 
6.23 left to go in the third quarter. NEJ trailing 15 to 30. Brings up second down to gear four. Running backs, hands off to the running back. Running back's going to power his way for looks like a pickup of a first down. Tackled by Ethan Moss. It was um, a little short of a first down. Great job by Ethan Moss to to prevent that um, first down conversion. Uh, line back up, same formation. Put it back with step, hand off to the running back. Power is way up the middle this time and will pick up the first down. So nice run by Mendenhall right off the middle. 534 left to go in the uh, third quarter down to the 20 yard line of NEJ. So first and 10. Tigers trail 14 to 30. Mendenhall's driving. Mendenhall in the same formation. And quarterback takes the ball, hands it off again. Running back gets a couple yards, uh, maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage. Walker on the carry. Uh, so it's going to bring up second. By number 22, and Jones. Looks like 10. No uh, gained no on the play. play. Jawah Jones uh, on the stop, a, a player that has been missed by the Tigers so far this season. Uh, His father, P.T. Jones, was a phenomenal athlete here at at Northeast back in the 90s. Um, And so the Mendenhall's in the same formation. Quarterback looks. Takes a snap. He's uh, rolling to the right. He's going to pick up a game of five, but uh, the line did move, so that should so be a false start keeper, against Mendenhall, which is going to bring the uh, Tiger uh, ball back to the 25 yeah, yards. So Mendenhall. it's going to be second and 15 for Mendenhall, Kinsley. Yes, yeah, so it's um, a tough break there for a lucky break right there for the Tigers. Uh, this uh, lineman did move, so they're going to back the ball up. That takes Five yards. That's the That's what line. It's going to line back up. Looks like the same formation. Right. Offense set. Quarterback analyzing the defense. Gets the ball. Takes the handoff. Gives it to the other running back. He's going to get dropped behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. So really a nice defensive, uh, you know, play right here in the third quarter with 3.50 left to go in the third quarter. Brought to you by Rasmus Party Supply. So that backs it up to the Tiger 28-yard line, and it's going to be third and long for Mendenhall. And usually, uh, as Ben's the Knights uh, ordeals, when Mendenhall gets in these long situations, they get confused and have trouble. Comple- uh, completing the conversion on third down tonight. Right, but that was a great job by Michael Waite to sniff that play out and come in and make the stop behind the line. So Mendenhall is going to keep the same formation. Quarterback is going to drop back. Joe Y. Jones bringing the pressure, but Mendenhall quarterback lets the ball go. And wow, throws a deep, deep 40-yard touchdown pass. Wow, and it was covered by Tyquan Jasper. And Cody Hyatt. But the, the, but the receiver was able to to jump up and still snag the ball. The Tigers had double coverage on him, looking back towards the receiver and not the football. And the quarterback makes a perfect pass, and the receiver jumps up and catches it. That's Yep, pretty much sums it up. That's all you can really say. So that. Then all Tigers are going to attempt a two-point conversion. Hand it off to the running back up the middle. Powers his way in. And then um, all Tigers are going to convert the two points. So with 318 left in the third quarter, it's been all Tigers 38, Northeast Jones Tigers 14. No. 
3.18 left to go in the third quarter. Brought to you by Razmich Party Supply. They're open Monday through Friday. 10 to 6 on Saturday, 9 to 12. Tigers t- trail 24 left. And they're lining up to kick, get the ball back. So join us tomorrow from Ken's Nissan. We're going to talk college football. We're going to start at 9.30 in the morning. So uh, we're going to bring you a bunch of action tomorrow. Talk a little Bulldog, Eagle, Rebel football. Give our thoughts on the game. Mendenhall lines up to kick the ball. They've been pooching it all night. The only times they kick has been on these uh, kickoffs. Here comes the ball. It's a, well, I don't think he meant to do that, but it looked like an onside kick, uh, and it was a pooch kick. And uh, Edmonds on the return for the Tigers, which gets nowhere. Tigers will take over first and 10 at their own 40-yard line, line. line. trailing by 24 points. And uh, it's uh, somewhere you don't want to be in a game like this on senior night. But, hey, the Tigers have found themselves in this position all season. And at this point, you know, uh, any chances that playing in the playoffs are none. So that's pretty much it, Kinsley. Yeah, uh, pretty much been the, uh, the tail of the season. And, I mean, and they found themselves on the losing end of the stick the whole season. So it's just um, as you as you mentioned, uh, any chance of uh, uh, the Tigers making the playoffs is pretty much diminished at this point. So I mean, right now, there's like the you know just the Tigers are just playing for fun right now. But there's uh, been a a timeout called by the, the Northeast Tigers. But pretty much, um, it's been kind of a sad case for the. The seniors tonight. It is um, the seniors are playing their last game in the jungle. So unfortunately, you know they are um, going out on a, a losing note on their on their special night. But um, it's just one of those things that you just have to, you know, just suck it up and just play the best you can and just create the fondest memories that you can out here in the jungle. Um, unfortunately, it's been one of those tough seasons for the Tigers. Hey, sometimes that's just the, the tail of the tape. So the um, Northeast Jones Tigers will come out on offense. They're going to go three receivers. Tony Barnes and Jaleel Morris each beside Mason. Mason Smith goes deep, and he finds a receiver wide open. He's going to run it in for the touchdown pass. Wow. Great job. So that was 5-5 McGee. Well, a great, it's like a 60-yard touchdown pass from Mason Smith to 5-5 McGee. Mason Smith to 5-5 McGee. Wow, you know, that was a beautiful quarterback-to-quarterback connection right there, John. Yeah, it was. Um, And, you know, at this point, I'm not sure why you're going for a – Field goal when you should just you know uh, <laughs> go for it. go for it. And that then, really does you no good. I mean, it does give them an extra point, but I mean, considering I mean you're down, how many points? And, I mean, I mean, just really, I would have. I mean, I just would have gone for it. I mean, hey, this play more aggressive right now. Yeah, I mean, really, you don't have nothing to lose. You might as well. Right, but hey, you know, let's you know, hey, what a what a beautiful connection between Mason Smith and Five Five McGee to set up that. So, are you ready for some Pelican basketball? I am ready for some Pelican basketball. We get to see Blake Griffin on Tuesday. How about how cool is that? Man, you know, just the fact that I'm going to an NBA.